<laughs> Sergio, come on. Just drink a little bit more. I had to already. I... This is a very strange way on this. <laughs> this is so great. No, no, I don't little brother. So. Look, I feel sorry for her because she's young and she's in love. And I don't know if you remember, but you have a disease. Didn't you hear the priest? Hmm? Till death do you part. And this fine. Maybe for you this is the grand finale, but for her, it's just the beginning. And this beginning is not fair, it just isn't. My God, she knows about my illness. Everyone knows about my illness. You are betraying her feelings. <laughs> I'm gonna give her the best two or three years of her entire life. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, and after that? Well, yes, I guess I'll somehow betray her. Anyway, betrayal is an inherent part of love. Since we're on the subject, have a look. Look at him, Martin. <laughs> so loyal. My best friend, happy. Would he betray me? Hmm? Of course he would. Yes, he would. He just needs the right circumstances. Tatiana? Tatiana as well. No, you say your life is about love and feelings more than anyone else, but then all you see are traitors. No, 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 Everywhere. no, no. That's not what I'm saying. No, what I'm saying is that the betrayal doesn't depend on how much or how deeply you love someone. It depends on the magnitude of the dilemma they put in front of you. Would you betray... Would you betray your loved one? At first, no. But what would happen if someone told you that if you did, you'd be given a medicine that could cure your beloved brother? Huh? <laughs> now that's a good dilemma. <laughs> come, come.